right? Take that as what you will. But this is what they're warning us of. And this is something that I already practice anyways. And now it's it's more critical than ever, okay? You need to be very, very careful of hospitals. You need to be very careful of going to emergency rooms and hospitals, right? Situations where things are happening fast, um, giving birth, all these things. There is a lot of sketchy stuff going on with it right now. And even the FBI is issuing a warning for this, right? So my best advice is to stay away from these areas okay i was actually talking about this a little bit yesterday how it's kind of your last it's kind of the last thing you want to do is go there it should be the last thing on your list you should try to prevent from going there be prepared enough that you don't have to go there unless it's something crazy okay unless it's like you have a gunshot wound okay what are you gonna do then i don't know maybe if you're really you're really off grid and you're about it maybe you can handle that okay but uh, obviously there's a few situations where you really need to do this but i i'm telling you guys you need to avoid it at all costs people are dying okay and even the fbi is saying that this is turning into a big problem children are adults this is a major issue right so let's get into the details here all right and this is another reason why your health is critical all right really quick guys just hit it up for me down there please hit that like hit that this is why it's critical to be focusing on your health right now so you don't have to go to these places because they're dangerous right now they are not safe and even the fbi is admitting that there are major risk factors okay obviously if you have to go you have to go i know people have medical issues things like that but your health should be a top priority right now major priority with all this talk of all this chaos going on the draft world war three all, all this all this crap okay everyone needs to be in top physical condition and i'm talking to myself too all right i'm talking to myself it's go time it's go time it's time to eat as healthy as possible and one of the only ways to really even do that anymore is to grow your own food okay did you even know really quick did you even know this organic food i, I just realized this today because i was like what the heck is this and I've eaten and I've known about organic and GMO and all this crud for a decade plus, okay? But organic, like USDA organic, the label, they they can give the animals stuff, okay? Stuff that goes inside of them. They can give them stuff, okay? You know what I'm talking about. Things like Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash has given all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Real quick, um, is this is a video from the guy Patrick Humphrey. It says, Warning, stay away from hospitals. FBI issues warning. All right, um, and I saw this video a couple of days ago, and I just want to touch on this real quick because this is important that we notice. You know, he's speaking to his prepper friends, and I'm speaking to my Hebrews, like brothers and sisters out there that you know believe in this truth and and 100% doctrine. You know, don't put your trust in these damn devils, man. All right, let me grab that real quick too because you know these like like he like he just mentioned they're putting shit in the food, you know. Then he's going to go further to say, you should go watch this video. I can't play the whole video because of, cause of time's sake. But he's saying how um, in these hospitals, they're having cyber attacks where their systems are shutting down, man. All right. So their systems are shutting down, shutting down and all the information is on these systems. You know, they pretty much can't do anything without their systems being up. So they're having these cyber attacks and people are, you know, expiring because, you know, they can't get the help they need. Which, you know, these hospitals are full of, you know, sorcerers and Freemasons anyways. You know, so when you, you know, 
you know, combine all that with us being Jake and Israelites and knowing this truth. These people do not have your best interests, you know, um, in mind, you know. But real quick, let me grab this. All right, because he was making some good points. This is a good video. You should, you should go watch it. It says Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. It says, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rust of so is his wickedness. And you're not supposed to trust your enemy, man. And we know who our enemy is. It was a time back in the, you know, back in the day where Jake would, you know, Jake, Jake, Jake would know better than to go to the hospital because Jake would go in there because they stubbed their toe and they would leave without a leg. Or they'll go in there because, you know, they had a, a headache and they'll, you know, they'll come out in the body bag. This is the reality. You know, you got, you know, Edomite, you know, racist people in these, you know, places, in these places. And, you know, they all sold out. You know, we saw this in the past four years with this demic. Motherfuckers was dancing when people was dying man all right so you can't trust these people man all right let's grab some more stay out of there it says um um though he humble himself and go crouching oh let me hear him him here to help all soft spoken with a white vest a white uh jacket on a lab coat it says yet take good heed and beware of him and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. A lot of these Edomites, they're still, you know, uh, believe in their dumb, dumb Ku Klux Klan tendencies, man. Okay, back in the day when you when when, when you would you know see a a, a a a a Klan meeting, you probably had four or five doctors in there. All right. It says, "Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place." Um, let's jump down, verse thirteen. Who will pity a charmer? That is bitten with a serpent or any such as come now wild beast. So one that go up to a sinner and is defiled by with him and his sins, who will pity? So nobody going to pity you, man. Uh, jump right to the point, verse 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. And that's what they do. They're undermining you in these places, man. All right. They'll tell you, oh, take this for this problem. And then it's giving you more problems. So, like, as he said, if you can help it, you know, if you, unless it's something serious, like a gunshot wound or something, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about that either. But stay out of that place, man, if you know what's good for you. It says, Job 13, verse 4, but ye are forges of lies, ye are physicians of no value. And that's what they do in there. They're forging, uh, you know, lies and, you know, they have no value. You know, they're really going into witchcraft and sorcery when you go into that, you know, into that pharmacia. All right, so I, I, I want to be careful with my words before I words from once. I'm not giving any, you know, advice or anything, medical advice or anything. I'm just, you know, sounding the alarm as the FBI did in this, um, as as this man said in this video, you know, uh, <laughs> hey, and, and and this guy could be a jake. You never know. But he said, you know, if he, he said even speaking to himself first, once I'm speaking to myself, we gotta, you know, eat better, work out more. You know, do the things necessary to keep our bodies uh, functioning and, and, you know, de not depending on Esau, man. All right. Because this man, scripture says how the Lord gave us the, um, you know, every seed bearing uh, fruit. OK, every seed bearing herb. You got to get into these herbs. All right. Um, get into nature. A lot of shit growing, growing your yard that, um, you know, has, you know, benefits, you know, and you got to, you know, study that, get into that. You know, drink your teas, all that stuff, man. All right, but we got to do what we got to do in order to stay out of the, stay, stay off uh, Esau damn uh, med beds, cause he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't got your best interest in, in you know, in, in mind. All right, and this guy saying this, man, this is the absolute truth. You know, this is the absolute truth. Let me see. Uh, FBI issues warning. Let me see what what else we got right here. Uh, let's go to some of these comments. Somebody said, I refuse to go to hospitals. Uh, ever again after they failed to protect their patients insisted yep yep the whole system is a beast stay strong never comply absolutely stay away from the slaughterhouses you know so everybody you know notice and and, and, and these are you know for the most part edomites man you know that 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 got sense jake though jake them became so simple man they trust in these damn oppressors and you'll find yourself in there you know a lot of jakes, some of these jakes, man, you know, slightest thing. Oh, I thought my toy. I gotta go to the hospital. I gotta do this. I gotta, I gotta go to the hospital. You know, and it's like, you like going in there around them damn devils, and you know, they they, they go fuck around and do something to you, fuck around and give you something, man, that you can't come back from. And this is what they do, you know. So you just never trust them, man. 
be mindful be you know stay spiritual you know uh pray you know <laughs> Rebu and really when you get any type of disease or illness it's demons you got to rebuke them demons man all right take the necessary precautions to get right and continue to fight with that be said i'm gonna say shalom coming sure i love baba ball shalom